Hello, beautiful spirit, it's Galita here. I wanted to speak today about the feeling of being powerless in a situation that we find ourselves in the world. And to go from there into a place where we can feel our power, maybe in a different way, maybe in a new way, but very, very useful way. So before we start, I would like us to take a breath just that we can center and be in alignment with ourselves. So if you join me, please, for one big breath like this. Hold. Let it come down through your body, to your feet and beyond. See how you feel. One breath can already make a difference. Let's take one more in the same way with holding in the top. So. So I don't know in which stage you are in. Some of us are just locked in quarantine uh, or self harbor as Amanda calls it. Um, uh, some of us are overwhelmed by uh, the work that we need to do in order to survive per day, even if we stay at home with small kids. Um, some of us are alone and afraid, and some of us are out there and don't have time to reflect at all. Um, and some of us are very worried about where the world is going. And I think it's very, very important to to have the picture, I would like to share with you what I know and what I receive, so you'll see if it works for you. Uh, for a long time, we knew that this time will be coming, uh, the change, the shift, you know, for years and years, some of us talking about the shift, the shift, human, humanity is shifting. Um, nobody knew in which way, because life is its way to, to, to produce what it's producing, and now we're in the middle of it, and for everyone, it's a bit of a kind of a shock. Uh, but as fast as we can adjust to what is, stronger we are to keep our immune system strong and to keep our mental health strong and even be able to help other people. So the change is here and the change will lead us to, to the beautiful change that we know that is coming. Uh, so our world was not perfect and actually was very, very limited with a lots of, a lots of problems. Um, and this huge shift that's happening the next month, this year, 2020, will bring us eventually into a world that is the new earth. So if this is all new to you, then uh, that's the time to start to explore who are you and how the world actually works. Uh, that there are invisible reality and there is visible reality and it's five fifth dimension reality and third dimension reality and starting to explore from there. What I find uh, important is to realize that in our world at the moment there is kind of a war, a uh, psychic war between forces that would like to keep the status quo of control and the powers that would like humanity to awaken to its own power and take its sovereignty. Now, I know that there are lots of conspiracy theories and all kinds of things, and I want you to notice that there is the truth of those two forces. There is very strong um, uh, battle, uh, but, if you are getting information that paralyzes you into fear, because some of the darkest things that are coming out are too difficult to handle, I suggest that you will monitor what is it that you're watching and what is it that you are listening to or reading. So it is very important to know that the forces of light are bigger and better and much more destined to 
bring us to the next level. And you should not be in fear. You don't have to um, give your love power away because your love power and your centering power is what you need in order to be um, well and help this shift because now we are going to a transition. Some of us are in fear and this is part of the transition. It's kind of shockingly, we are moving into a new reality, but we are moving into this new reality. And the people who prepared themselves many, many times and many, many lifetimes, actually, probably if you're watching this, you are part of the people who can lead the way into this new understanding. And it's very important to focus on the thing that we are creating. And what we are creating is magnificent. There is such a momentum from this chaos and suffering and disease that we are facing. The biggest jump of innovation of humanity is coming in medicine, in, in agriculture, in how we're treating the earth, in how we are thinking about ourselves, how we're using technology. Yes, there is those forces that try to take us into the wrong direction. And many of us carry in ourselves the fear or the blame from other times. Um, but this time we are awakened to the trickery of this force, which I call Amut in my, in my storytelling. And that force of Amut will try to take you away from your own center and inner power. And your center and inner power this is what you need, what your family needs, and what we need from you. So this is about where we're going. We are in a transition that will continue the whole year. Life will not be the same, which I know it's scary because we are used to it and we want what we know. But in a bigger picture, life not being the way it was is, is a good thing because our world was full of slavery and torture and shady actions and corruption. And we are moving into the world where the balance between the healthy masculine and the healthy feminine will be leading the way. The future is magnificent, really magnificent. You will see that the indigenous people are going to have a place on the table in deciding of how we are managing the earth, how we are honoring the earth. This way of thinking, this Westerner way of thinking will balance itself up with our self understanding, again, our roots. The balance between the masculine and the feminine, I'm talking about this reunion, this marriage of those two sides, will play itself that in the way we govern, uh, the way we manage our cities, the way we are taking care of the children of the earth will be with a head of the rational, masculine, beautiful force and with feminine, intuitive, creative force. So you will see that the unity of the yin and yang will come in everything that we are doing. So in order to get into this new reality, uh, there are going to be changes. There are going to be changes in what we see as countries, what we see as economy, what we see in how we are taking care of our bodies or how we take care of the way we grow food. The world that is coming is beautiful in the way the earth is being rejuvenated already and how we will be treating animals, how humans will live with nature and animals in a way that we will go, oh my God, finally, it happened in our lifetimes. This is the dreams of generations. This is the dreams of your ancestors. This is the dream of the mothers of the fathers of the earth to bring us into this new earth. And it's happening now. And this year is crucial. So now from this big picture, we have to zoom in on ourselves and our family because your task in this life is to find your own voice, your own connection to spirit and share that with yourself, with your family, with your loved ones and with the world if it's necessary. 
And actually, there is nothing more that your soul wants than manifest itself into your being, into your humanness, and having a balance between your soul part and your human part. So I'm talking about that a lot, and but today I wanted to focus on what you can do. So if we are feeling guilty about powerless we feel because we see what's going on in some places but we don't live in that place we cannot help it we are in our house we are limited with how much we can do but we are not limited at all because the power of your mind and your intention the power of your heart and what you feel the power of your words the power of your voice in speaking or in sharing or in singing, the power of your body, all of those powers that you possess are needed in this time. Um, so part of our culture is that if there is something, we have to move into action and do what is needed to be done, which is great and honorable. But first, not all the time it's possible. Millions of people are sitting at home who don't know how to pass the time or how to manage emotions and family dynamics. So the only thing I would like you to concentrate is about you and how you bring yourself into this uh, sacred space. Because when you enter to the center of your own sacred space, you are not only bringing the frequency of this world we're going to into this 5D reality that is absolutely beneficial for your body and for your mind and for your heart and for your spirit, your four voices. It's also beneficial for everyone in your surrounding. And if you can bring more permission to light, you can affect a huge area around your physical body so this is all new to science we start to understand it but we don't have to wait for any proof we already know from our, from our indigenous people and from our own secret text and from our own guidance that coming in into the center of your own sacred space will not only make you feel good and raise your frequency it will start to connect to that energy that is around the world people like you and me, that have come together in energy to uplift the energy so we can receive more of the huge waves of light that are coming to, to the earth right now, so we can take humanity faster into, into this new world. So you have a big role to play, but it's not coming and doing initiatives or actions or stuff. You can do that too. But with just 20 minutes a day, sitting in this place of secret place where it is blissful, it is full of bliss. And it's a, even a little bit, it's like in meditation, but it can be even broader um, even deeper than deeper than just relaxing. And that is very powerful. So I would like you to suggest that you take the time, maybe now, at this moment, to connect your inner space, an inner sacred space, so you can start to feel how it is to be in it. And we will do a little short uh, meditation, just that we can do that together. I hope that will help. Okay, so uh, we'll take a breath. I would follow the guidance that I get for us. I do hope that anybody watching this, but I have to share what I have to share. So please activate your hands, your healing hands. You have ancient and innate power that we have now an opportunity to remember and to reactivate and bring it into life, into this time and to this place of Earth now in 2020. And when you activated your, your energy hand, 
I would like you to put that on your lungs. Because some of the blockages that's stopping us from being truly connected is layers of emotions that need to be felt. And sometimes it's, it's yours, sometimes it's your family, and sometimes it's the collective consciousness we're in. So there is a lot of grief. We all feel this feeling of grief, but those of us who can feel it and go through it until it's transmute can really help the collective um, energy of grief that is now in the plan on the planet. So some of it is old from human history, some of it some of it is from tribe, some of it is from past life. It's not important. I would like to focus on the energy of this feeling. So just, just allow yourself to feel the warmth of, of your hands on your chest. And know that in this moment, we are connecting to uh, our four directions and inviting the element of air in the north and the element of fire on the east and the element of earth in the south and the element of water and that we also invite the above world that is above us the underworld that is below us and of this world that is here in the dimension of us and we don't have to do more than that. Just allow those forces and our guidance and our archangels. And there's, there's, all kind of, there's all kinds of support. I don't think it's necessary to mention it now. They all are invited of the highest light, unconditional love from creator, that you feel how you are sitting in the center of a beautiful ball. And just take one breath into that and allow that to come under your hands. You can see this beautiful color of pale pink and white light. You allow yourself to just be in this space. And the ball is big and comfortable. And it's breathing with you. And it's matching itself to you. And it's actually expanding beyond you and giving you more room than you took until now. Mm. Now allow your hands to come and touch your heart. And just feel how being in this bowl is making you light. And how with every breath that you take, this unconditional love and profound information of how it feels to receive this is coming to every cell of your body and giving it what it needs to upgrade to the energies that are coming now to the planet. And you can lie and float in your bowl, or you can sit, or you can stand, or you can dance. But you start to feel that this bowl of light 
with you in it. You're starting to move upwards. Actually, you can really start to feel that you can swim in this, as if you are in a womb. There is everything nurturing in there to take you, to nurture you, to love you, to guide you. But the bowl of wisdom is taking you up. It's still going up to the first world and going to the second and third and worlds. It's like shooting like a rocket. But you are very comfortable where you are. Mm. It goes into the fifth world, sixth world, coming to the seventh world. And there it stops. And you can just hear the stillness. And you feel around your heart a sensation of opening lotus. And the colors in the bowl are translucent white. Very subtle, very gentle, very loving. The only thing you need to do is to receive. And the light is caressing your body and clearing your mind and softening your eyes and loving your cheeks and clearing your ears and coming to the lowest part of your brain and clearing debris from the past and clearing your throat and clearing your neck and holding the area around your throat. And very gently, the slightest pulsing to allow you to remember your own truth, your own voice, voice of your soul. And there is an opening of a gate that happened in order for you to be free again. And it's crossing your chest, connecting your right side with your left side, helping you to harmonize your body and your mind, your right and left, your yin and your yang. It goes over your shoulders and the upper part of your back and allowing you to shed layers of layers of the past that is not serving you anymore. And the creator's energy's wisdom does it all for you. You are just allowing yourself to be shedding, freeing yourself. You can feel your arms are coming out of a, something that looks like a coat. And you are liberating your upper body from the confinement of this old suit. And you're coming into your heart. And you open and bring your belly out and your pelvis, your legs. And you step out of this suit, which touches the floor and turns into light. 
And just feel how it caresses your feet, your ankles, and letting you stand on light, dance with light. Mm. Now you feel that the ball is expanding and there is a new color that comes in that is exactly what you need right now. And it brings with it the knowledge of how to feel free and stay free. in your thinking, in your being, how to stay in total connection with your own essence. And it brings you the knowledge of knowing again how deserving you are of this tender, loving light. and how to live with feeling deserving. And just let it come. It is dancing around your body. It is beautiful patterns of sacred geometry. There's lots of motherly love and fatherly love. It's divine. You allow yourself to connect to your own Divine Mother and Divine Father and to feel worthy to be the child that is being cared for, protected, loved. And bring this knowledge straight into your higher heart, which is above. Just if you want to tap on the area between your breast, just above, in your thymus area. Let's invite this to come into our memory, muscle memory or of our physical body. This is how I remember who I am. Allow that to come, host it. Ah. Mm. Wonderful. And you can massage this area. Get yourself stretching inside the ball in this seven heaven place. Allow yourself to feel divine and to feel joyful and to feel guilt-free and receptive to goodness because that's what you are. Oh, 
Bring your hands to your heart. It is done, it is done, it is done. Can you hear it song? Now you feel how the ball is getting ready to come down. Allow that to happen. Going from the seventh world to the sixth world, to the fifth world, to the fourth world, to the third world. Take a breath, adjust to the changes around you in the ball. Go into the second world, go into the first world, and come into your own self and your own body. Feel yourself inside the ball, inside your home, inside your, your, your room, wherever you are. Mm. Take a big breath, feel your physical body. You can stretch it a bit. Mm, 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 mm. Allow that to feel physical. You do your hands again. Ah, yes, activate them. Take a shower, bring yourself here yourself here. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this, feeding yourself with goodness. You feel you're worthy and you're taking with it with you. If you say yes to it, it's in and that's yours. Feeling worthy. Know how my sacred space feels like. And go there anytime you want. It will just strengthen yourself and your system and even your relationship in our world. Thank you.